Hello, hello, welcome to yet another session of life modeling. So let's continue on our character modeling. I have this beautiful alienish face that I can't get to modify and make it even more scarier. Let's dive right in. As I mentioned in the very first part, this is the second, and we are aiming that we are aiming to 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 teach the beginners as I am. So this is my first character modeling I've never done before actually. I've done just some sort of samples that um, weren't really that much crazy. So this time I decided to deep to dive deep in with you. So uh, without further notice or further talking I mean uh, let's tap into the admiral of the cube that is it should be called Ashley face so let's call it a face from now on so I won't be using any special names anymore okay so the first the very first thing I would do is um, work on the eye I had mine yesterday that we definitely need to make it less creepy uh, so uh, let's just toggle the eye off we also gonna toggle the subdivision surface here in the modifiers by clicking on this icon and um, okay so the first thing we're gonna do is going with the face selection here on the left gonna select uh, this eye ball hole <clears throat> I think I and I bet there is a better name for it and um, let's press I for inset this is a very common thingy again in Blender this this one you know case this sort of inset thingy within uh, the face that's very handy so just remember that that's with the eye on your keyboard then you know just left click when you're satisfied with um, the uh, the size of it and we actually gonna uh, drag it more inwards so let's press G X and let's just you know yeah let's just go as much as we can we can also just turn on and see how it looks okay yeah this is kind of reasonable maybe we can drag even more I still have it selected by the way so uh, let's press just G and X and let's just uh, make it really so there is a proper hole for the eye okay uh, the very next thing we're gonna do is clicking on that eye we actually have a, a mirror modifier so it's reflecting also on the other side and um, we're gonna select everything with pressing A I'm gonna go to the front view with number one and we're gonna press G I'm oh, no, sorry uh, S for scale X and then we just gonna drag the eye sort of like this inward so uh, we're just gonna make it more flattish so it doesn't look that creepy and you know what I will also uh, create something now that would help us to see the face a little bit better so um, let's having that face selection let's just select those faces here in the middle that would be for the eye and you know what we're gonna press I again to create the inset like this and we're gonna make um, it just yeah in the in the circle just a little bit smaller than the one before and let's go to the materials I promised and I know that we should not touch the materials until we are done with modeling but this will help us tremendously I believe and let's click on new and let's uh, go with another here the plus we're gonna click new again and this time we're gonna change the base color uh, to all the way back and then we're gonna click assign having this select over all right and if we now change to the viewport of uh, shading you're gonna see that it's yeah you know do, do, have you seen this eye somewhere before maybe in the rick morty probably yeah right so yeah this i think that this kind of helps everyone <clears throat> at this point pardon me <clears throat> mm. All right, so we have only half an hour, so let's proceed. Um, let's click on the eye, and now we're gonna make something that I don't know how it's called, but basically it's the eye uh, eyelid, I think, probably. Okay, uh, so having that eye here, we're gonna press Shift D. That's for copy. Very common. Again, when you press Shift D, you can. Okay, we're gonna repeat that again. So click on that eye, Shift D. Obviously now we have that copy, you can move it anywhere you want, but if you just press escape, it will stay where it is. And that's exactly what we wanted. I'm going to toggle off the old eye. 
right? So now we have just a copy. We also can delete the uh, materials because we actually won't be using that anymore uh, with this. I'm gonna name it to Islet, so it's not confusing for anyone. And now let's. Um, okay, dive right in and mm -hmm. okay we can do that with this as well okay so let's that's number three I'll toggle the x-ray view and let's just delete some of those oh no you know what I think we'll okay we will work with this as we already committed so um, yeah we can just turn yeah this is what we wanted and you know what let's just have everything selected and now with a a uh, now let's press rotate like that then y to lock in the y-axis and then press 90 on your keyboard and press enter <clears throat> and now let's go to number you can also yeah number one is, is, is good as well uh, having that uh, extra toggle on that's very important uh, go with the vertex selection here and now let's select all the vertices here down in the bottom bottom half I mean then press X to delete and delete the vertices okay so this eyelid now is kind of way too right it's way too uh, broad <laughs> uh, so um, obviously because the eye is just totally in a different position so that's totally okay uh, let's uh, let's okay let's select everything again either pressing A or just select it like that because we have the X-ray view and then we're gonna ask for scaling and then we're gonna press X to lock in the X-axis and now we can just make the eyelid very comfortably as we want let's just keep it this way we'll see how it's gonna work out and let's uh, press tab again to get to the object mode I'm gonna toggle off the X-ray view now we can see that it's just behind so let's move it forward so it's it's gonna be G, X, and let's just move it forward like this. Okay, what I also would like to do now is to add a modifier. So let's go to modifiers. And beside that mirror one, we're gonna add the solidify, okay? So basically, as this is just a really flat, basically face and thin um, mesh object, it doesn't have any volume. So that's what you would get with solidify. So you see that we just instantly got it um, we got the volume so that's just a very easy way to sort of extrude the objects without actually extruding them so okay um, in the object mode let's press just G G U -A Z and then just move it upwards you can see that we got <laughs> we're getting a really funny eyelid I would say <laughs> and uh, let's just move it uh, so it's you know touches the eye because that's how the eyelid works so let's press G X and just move it so it's just you know yeah being on the eye um okay let's tap in again number three now let's uh, go with the add extra view again and uh, let's turn on the proportion editing that's kind of handy in this case because we want to make that eyelid sort of curvy um so let's select again this vertex I prefer, yeah, you need to do it this way. So you would also like the one in the in the, in the bar in the front, uh, sorry, in the back. G. Now adjust the influence of the proportional thing with your wheel, and now again lock it in the Z axis and move it upwards. So you can see that now you know we are influencing also other vertices, not just that one. And if we increase the level of the influence, we can see that we can pretty much make it kind of roundy. This is perfect. And now I guess we're gonna go with the edges. G, Z, and then I would now actually, yeah, just reduce the influence and yeah, drag it downwards like that. And let's do it the same with the other side. G, Z, and then just pull it down. Okay. I guess this is yeah, this is kind of decent and nice. I like it. Let's see how it looks. Okay, perfect. I guess we still would need to press G. 
X and move it even back. Okay. So we got the elite. Look at that. Woohoo. Kind of looks okay -ish now, right? Okay. And now we're gonna proceed with uh, the cheeks and and the sort of surrounding of the mouth. So we can we would see some sort of face features. And so I'm gonna go back again in here and this time we're gonna turn off the proportion thing we don't want that because that otherwise would just <laughs> kind of ruin the whole model and the whole face right so let's select those three mm, vertices here press G X and let's just pull it out right this is the basically the place where you have this there's this I don't know what's it called the valley <laughs> uh, in Korean it's called Injun that's where you know they taught us on in taekwondo to to punch because this is this place is very very sensitive so this is the place where you would punch people uh, in martial art <laughs> so anyways <laughs> okay so let's select those vertices here uh, i'm holding always shift to select multiple of them again g x and let's just play it outside just a little bit okay um, we don't want okay and this last one will I think we'll just move back okay like that and let me see okay let's try to also pull this one out see how it looks uh -huh. okay now let's go a bit and create the chin just a little bit again we're gonna select those three GX I think here we also gonna move the middle ones so that GX mm -hmm. and let's try to pull out the cheeks as well let's just select random let's select this ra this this random right this is and let's just pull them out let's see what it does I don't know what will happen okay so this I think I guess this looks <laughs> okay I probably will probably keep it like this and it won't go further and what I also have in mind maybe would be moving those G Y and move it sort of like this yeah, in okay maybe this mm -hmm. okay it's too much G X and I think they are just way too much out in our class okay this is cool um, the other thing I would like to also mention is that you now see all these sort of edgy polygons and faces here if I click on that face and click on right click on that uh, face and click on shade smooth it's gonna become instantly uh, smooth and that's so lovely click on the mouth and also let's just smooth it up <laughs> why not right why not okay so the other thing also I uh, have sort of spot yesterday that is that um, the mouth is kind of getting I know we'll leave that. It's okay. It's a small detail. Okay, so save it because we kind of proceeded in a very good way. I love it already. So let's uh, make some hairs and then also a neck. But before that, I also thought that we could also just do something with the with the bottom part of the head. Or the face it's actually the head not to name it to head and okay, let's get back to the modeling tap into the edit mode and again we're gonna play with the x-ray view that's very important always to keep in mind be using so let's just select some random vertices down there we're gonna do again the proportion editing uh, now let's press let's press G first uh, let's influence let's yeah let's make it mm-hmm it's too much lock it in the x-axis so you would move it only in the direction of desired okay so I think yeah this level yeah, okay this is cool now let's press rotation it's R and we're just gonna rotate it this way it's about minus seven degrees okay this is yeah, this is cool, very subtle. I guess it's okay. Let's try to move it even more, maybe. G, X, and then just like that again. Right, because the chin of 
or for yours and everyone's probably kind of way more in <laughs> in the front and let's just rotate it again okay I guess this is okay cool we can also move on some of those how do you by the way like the music it's cool right this deep sounds okay so yeah kind of like it already okay let's uh, proceed with the hair as I promised so uh, you know what creating hair is probably just a field itself so I just tend to make it as sort of in my way or we'll try to make it in, in our way because uh, it's yeah it's, I think it would be totally for a separate hours and hours of a video and session so let's just add a cube we're gonna make that very simple sort of um, just kind of resemble hair <laughs> it wouldn't be any uh, sort of real hair thingy so the cube let's just turn off the x-ray view let's move the cube okay let's just keep it in the middle actually let's press G Z move it okay <laughs> on our beautiful face by the way um, shouldn't we name our character because I haven't I haven't found the name yet so maybe maybe in the next episode but today we still as we don't see the hairstyle I guess that it's really hard to tell the name right okay so let's tap in control R cut it in the middle we did before in the first part so just you just press control R then select the loop where you want to cut and then just left click and then escape and we're gonna go to extra view and delete the very second part of it and let's go with the mirror Y and toggle of the X okay so now everything is mirrored again as we had before with the head and the eyes and now in the edit mode of this cube let's just select everything now we're just gonna scale it down a little bit of course without the proportion editing S, X and now let's just make it so it's kind of in a decent and reasonable size I know what I know what I think this is already okay to start with so um, we won't be touching the vertices in the middle because that's where you know right the the whole uh, the whole mirroring is happening but of course we need to move we need to move it down a little bit so G Z and let's uh, let's start with yeah, let's just start with this height why not or maybe just a little bit okay so now we're gonna sort of just make a rough rough but a very rough shape of the hair that we want to go for so um, there's I think okay so if this is the if you press Control 3 we're gonna get to the opposite side of that view so this is the sort of opposite side of the side view right so this is the back of our basically the back and now we're gonna move it down just a little bit right now you can see that exactly the hairstyle I'm going for right the 80s one <laughs> you can also do that actually in the uh, top view as well and now let's just move it okay and G now this is probably very crucial now to keep it so, yeah, so again I'm using very very easy techniques nothing because you're just moving the vertices around right so uh, you know what I'm gonna let's add okay, let's add everything and let's click a right click and we're gonna subdivide so this is something that is very handy if you just want to get under the vertices in a right you know in a, in a, yeah on, on, on the all the faces um okay so here again we're gonna press g this time y and let's just move it so it's kind of up okay and now we're gonna go to the okay, so this is just yeah here I'm, I'm basically playing with the vertices so this can i'm just creating the basic shape of uh, the hairstyle so it's nothing really really there's a rocket science behind this <laughs> yes having that extra view was a little bit confusing I would say as well right okay so this 
we still need to more kind of thing. Yes, and we will yeah, as you guessed you guessed the right, we will gradually add the complexity. So let's just sell everything with A and then right click and then subdivide again because we already need Exactly. Those vertices here. G Y. Hey. Okay, there was an extra vertex. I don't know how it how it, it actually got there, but okay. So what do you think? Maybe this this one can also be G X. Right, so now we're just gonna cover and try to cover the whole head. This is basically the idea. Right, so you would sort of have the, the basic shape of the, of the hair. I think this seems that something that we can kind of work with. How how does it how does it look? <laughs> kind of funny, right? Um, anyways, and I think in the very front view we want it to be sort of curvy. So let's just play with those. Vertices like that. Oop. Okay, with the mid one, we need to lock it in the right axis. Okay, let's just. <laughs> no, it rather looks like a cap, but okay. So I'm still, I'm still just using basically, you know, the grab function, the <laughs> grab function. Sorry. Okay. okay. I think here we would uh, probably welcome a loop, I guess. So let's control R, R, left click escape and then I think I can just click on yeah just scale and then scale I think now okay and these vertices are really way too out so let's just oh now you see that this is a very tricky part we don't want it to okay like that now let's just make those the bit in G X okay so let me see oh maybe Maybe it wasn't that, this is that, that not a good idea. I think you know what, let's just get back and yeah. Maybe we're just gonna move it over here. G Y G G Y. So let's go to the side view. And we're gonna move those vertices like this. So again, that's so it's again into so it's get kind of Perfect. Let's add a modifier called bevel. Okay, so uh, now with this one we can. Oh, okay. This is all we can go for. So I guess we won't be using the bevel, but let's try to add the subdivision surface. Okay. If we add, okay, cool. Hmm, I like this already. Okay, let's proceed uh, further. So let's keep it on level two, let's say, and uh, also eh, let's keep it like that. Now we're gonna go select everything, and we're gonna subdivide again. And I think at this point here, we'll just play with the vertices. I think that it would also help to use the proportion editing, right? So now we can just sort of play with the whole. Okay, like that. Now oh, we have to be very careful. I think I'll just get the vertices here so we see that. Whenever you move something, just pay attention to what side, and this way we can easily just 
create the hairstyle so that be a4 so now i'm just really you know playing randomly very randomly with everything a seven i'm gonna go with uh, g so i'm still just you know pulling it out and in and out i think here we, would, we probably want to go Inwards, okay, and I just shape it soon so you would kind of like it. Uh, I think at this point, I think I'm gonna go with to, to the object mode and click on apply. So now it's just one full mesh, and now we can sort of make it and play with it even more. Right, so it's so it won't be <laughs> Does it look like a hair too? <laughs> well to some it might. Okay. How about this hairstyle? Okay, things this, uh, this this place is super edgy so let's just so let's just g it out okay, why are you so packed in here hmm. just pulling this out so it won't be So we are getting to the very end of this video today. Okay, so yeah, okay. Right, so this is totally up to you when you would do your modeling. I think it's more fun to really play with it yourself. I guess that from the front view, sorry. The side view of ours, this is kind of, so this would, this was the idea today. Uh, for creating the hair so let me just break, break right and so look at that so you sort of it's more sort of a um, <laughs> sort of a huge uh, thingy on the on the head but i guess it can be sort of a hair thingy let's move it no, it was too much so this is gonna be the last modification for today i guess so thank you so much for joining for the session today i hope you like the music, the vibes, and tongue is 